Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Let's see here. Spirit clarity. I can't speak. Like, what is going on with you guys? Clarity. Love messages for my Aquarius. Clarity and guidance. Love messages for my Aquarians, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians, please. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, and we've got the Four of Swords in the reverse. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarius, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Okay, so we've got the World card, and we have the Ace of Cups. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians. We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse, and we have the Sun, Leo energy. Love messages for my Aquarians, please. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and we have the Six of Swords. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarius. We've got the Five of Cups, and we have got the Two of Pentacles. Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Aquarians, please. We've got the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Under the deck, we have the Lover's Card. We have the Ten of Wands, and we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, the moon, the three of pentacles, and the ten of cups. Okay, so Aquarius, just one moment. My nose has been running. Okay, so what we have here, Aquarius, big changes. We have some really big changes. We've got a lot of major arcana here. And I feel like this transition is very exciting. I thought when I couldn't breathe, I thought that you guys were having anxiety. It's not anxiety. It's this big change that you've been waiting for that's taking place, Aquarius. So what I'm feeling here, we've got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, okay? And we have the Four of Swords in the reverse. So I'm getting a sense of... With the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, something is coming back around, okay? It's a cycle that uh, wasn't destined to end, okay? It's coming back around, and with the Four of Swords, I feel like there's been a period of stagnancy where, you know, there's been a sense of trying to heal from something or maybe not making movement towards something, but now... The divine is bringing it back around. I feel like um, some of you possibly have experienced a stroke of bad luck due to maybe a separation possibly. And the reason why I say a separation is because what we have here with the Page of Cups and the Six of Swords, there was a situation where perhaps someone here um, was trying to pursue a connection, was trying to come in and apologize, trying to work things out. And someone said, nope, I think I'm going to leave. Do you understand? So so I feel like there was an energy where someone was left behind, someone here who was trying to make an offer to work things out, and someone here is realizing that, you know, they haven't healed from that, or maybe someone didn't get the, like someone maybe walked away thinking that the wheel of fortune would be in the upright, that things, that was the right decision, that things would go in their favor, and they have not been, okay? Now, in the present moment, what we have here with the world card and the five of cups, we have that cycle of this connection ending, because with the world card and the five of cups, someone here is um, having a lot of regret. Someone here has been in an energy of looking at everything that went wrong in the connection, um, thinking that it would be over for good, okay? Thinking that it was over for good, not looking at the love that was still between you and this person. So someone here is in a lot of pain, having a lot of sorrow and a lot of disappointment that they walked away from something. Now, with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, um, 
I feel here that someone now possibly has the opportunity to rekindle something with the Ace of Cups, or maybe someone here has to choose between new love and old love. Um, but I feel like with the Two of Pentacles, there's a choice. There's a choice. Should I go back? Should I try to rekindle? Should I try to make this right? Because with the, the Ten of Swords and the Reverse, I'm feeling here that someone doesn't want something to end. Someone does not want something to end. And with the Page of Swords here, Aquarian Energy, Aqu Aquarius, I feel like you're realizing this, that you really don't want to lose someone or something here. You don't want to lose it. And with the Sun card and the Hierophant, there's this energy of, I know where I want to be. I know what makes me happy. And this is what I want to commit to, my happiness and this situation, okay? Now, I feel that with the lover's card here, they're in the recent past here. Someone here maybe possibly walked away to go towards a third party. There was maybe some form of temptation in the picture here. Someone here made a decision, and unfortunately, it looks to me chose wrong, okay? Now, in the present moment, someone here is overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed with sorrow, disappointment. They're overwhelmed about things ending the way that they did, and someone here has a decision to make, okay? And and the pressure, like the heat is on type of thing, okay? The heat is on, the pressure is on to make a decision. Um, what I'm feeling here is we may have a past person in the picture coming into the near future. I feel like someone here never wanted something to end. And with the Page of Swords, I'm seeing communication about the truth coming out. I should have never hurt you. I should have never walked away. I should have never ended this. Now, Aquarius, this could be you sending the message or you could be receiving this message, okay? With the Sun card and the Hierophant, I feel feel like someone here is possibly receiving divine enlightenment. Um, the Hierophant is a priest. The Hierophant is the divine. The Hierophant could be a representation of God. The Hierophant is a higher power coming into play to cause this enlightenment, okay? Um, someone here may be coming to the realization that they want this commitment, that they don't want it. You know, when I see the Ten of Swords and the Hierophant, this is a divorce, like an actual physical divorce of a marriage. Someone here is realizing, I never wanted our marriage to end, or I don't want to file for that divorce. Or, you know, someone is coming to this realization, I don't want this to end. I never did. You know, I never did. So let's see what we have happening here. Spirit, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aquarians, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse for my Aquarius. We've got the full card, Aries energy. So Aquarius, I feel like in the past you took a leap of faith, okay? Um, you took a risk and uh, you gambled and lost. There's like an energy that someone here gambled and lost with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Tell me about the Four of Swords in the reverse. Um, eight of Swords. Yeah, now someone here is stuck on the fact of, you know, if I don't make a move to right this situation in my life, um, like someone here hasn't healed from something. They're stuck on the fact that they made this decision. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We've got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like when this connection was coming apart, okay, even when things were at their most unstable, someone here tried to make an offer with the Page of Cups to work things out. Someone here tried to come in, tried to apologize, even when the connection was completely completely falling apart. Tell me about the Six of Swords. We've got the Strength card, um, but there's an energy of you pulled away. You know, someone here pulled away and with the Six of Swords left, okay, with the Six of Swords left. Um, and with the Three of Wands, yeah, see the Three of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune in the upright now, someone has been thinking back at that moment for a long time or someone here possibly, um, thought that there was better out there. They thought that their destiny, that their jackpot, that the win that they were looking for was out there somewhere. And it turns out with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it wasn't. Okay. Someone ended up jumping, you know, see this cliff here. You see how this fool is, you know, the dog is over there warning him. This fool is about to, to skip himself and run right off of a cliff. Okay. The, that's the whole point of taking the risk. You know, am I going to, am I going to fly or am I going to drop, you know? And I feel like someone took that leap of faith and fell on their face. That's what happened. Tell me about the lover's card, please. Tell me about this lover's card for Aquarius. Um, 
We've got the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. I feel like what's happening here is that there was maybe friends or, you know, because there, there's pages here. There's people that were coming in saying to hold back from this connection, okay? There there was people getting involved because the, the Lover's card talks about a strong soulmate connection, possibly even Twin Flame, a divinely guided connection. We've got Adam and Eve, and then there's the snake tempting someone away trying to disrupt that love trying to disrupt the connection and someone has to make a decision do i want to stay in my relationship or do i want to give in to that temptation so there may have been people that were trying to pull you away aquarius or there was people trying to pull your person away you can take it as it resonates it could be vice versa and i feel like someone listened to these people that were trying to pull this connection apart yeah so tell me about the world card. Tell me about the world card, please, Spirit. Tell me about the world card. We've got the devil here, Capricorn energy. Um, I feel like there's a very toxic cycle in this connection that has closed out. So the good news is, Aquarius, whatever craziness was happening in this connection prior, um, that's not going to happen again. So, I, you know, the, the devil card here, a lot of people get scared of it, but all it is is the lover's card, the card that we have right here. Um, it's the lover's card, but it's giving into the baser. Like, so what happens here is you've got a soulmate energy, okay, being chained to negative vibrations, being chained to your lower baser. So what we have here is jealousy, anger, fighting, toxic, toxicity. Um, we may have had people that were jealous of this connection coming together. We've got a very toxic cycle here that has closed out, okay? Because someone here with the five of cups regrets turning the lover's card in a peaceful energy to the lover's card going into a toxic energy. You see what I'm saying? I feel like someone allowed the snake in. Someone allowed the snake in, bringing it, you know, they allowed the devil into the connection, whoever this was, okay, whether it was a third party or whether it was, um, you know, family, friends, anybody, you know, tell me about the five of cups the king of wands leo sag aries energy so what we have here is someone that is trying to appear confident in the decision that they made and internally with the five of cups this person is uh living with a lot of sorrow tell me about the ace of cups the hierophant taurus energy so we've got the hierophant here twice Aquarius okay so there's an opportunity here to fix the situation okay five of cups under the deck again someone here is having a lot of regret over this two of cups and this ten of cups very very strong soulmate energy here okay they're having a lot of regret on this and I feel like someone here with the eight of pentacles really wants to work this out but they have to make the decision two of pentacles for my Aquarian yeah Okay, so what we have here is someone possibly ran off with a new love interest, okay? This would require, either, this is requiring a person to leave a relationship and run off with their ex, okay? Uh, this may be the requirement at hand, and someone here now has to juggle and make that decision and figure out if that's what they want. Um, and I say that because in the near future, we have an ex here. So I feel like someone here pursued a situation they're currently in a relationship and now to get what they want it would require running away from this new person just packing up leaving sabotaging the connection somehow in some way to go start this new beginning tell me about the ten of wands please tell me about the ten of wands whoa okay that's way too many cards all right, let me see what these cards are. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords here, Aquarian energy. Um, I feel like someone's being pressured into making a very quick decision, okay? Um, the Seven of Swords talks about leaving quickly. The Seven of Swords, like, in my mind, it's like this vision of, okay, they're at work, let me pack all my shit and go. Or, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like that leaving very quickly type of energy. Or maybe starting, like, a huge fight just to get the hell away, right? Someone here is leaving quickly. And again, with the Ten of Wands and the uh, Knight of Swords, someone here is so overwhelmed by this decision. It's like, you know that that's why I was feeling so much anxiety at the beginning of this reading. Aquarius, it's a huge change that needs to be made. And I feel like 
it's going to be a rough decision. So what you're looking to do here is to make it as like ripping off a bandaid to make it as fast and cutting as possible instead of letting this ending draw on and on and on. So I feel here, Aquarius, I'm not going to take these. These fell out. So let's see what we have to say here. So we have someone here, the Queen of Wands in the reverse and the Two of Swords that's getting cut out. And this person's about to flip their shit. The Queen of Wands in the reverse is nasty. Jealous, possessive, vengeful, spiteful, just someone here is about to blow the hell up so it's something here someone's about to get really really nasty why because someone here is moving on and moving towards someone that they have love for and this queen of wands in the reverse is going to want to try to stop them okay so i feel here aquarius that if you are currently in a relationship and you're trying to go back from someone in the past you're going to try to get out of this in the most sneaky way you can you know what i'm saying but but not because you're trying not because like it's not because of cowardice it's because you know that this person can get really nasty and that they're going to try to stop you do you see what i'm saying so what you're going to try to do here is you're going to try to maneuver around the chaos and the drama and just pack all your crap and leave like when this person's out food shopping or something let's just say right you know so I feel like that's what you're being pressured, like the way you're being pressured to go about it because you don't want those blockages or you just don't want the drama or you don't want to deal with the chaos of it all, okay? Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Now, guys, this can be vice versa, okay? So the Ten of Swords in the reverse, what we have here is someone going down memory lane, okay? Someone here is very nostalgic. Someone is going back to the pain of the past, how much it hurt, how much this breakup hurt, because the Ten of Swords is a very nasty and ugly ending, okay? Three of Swords, someone here may have left someone to go towards a third party. doesn't have to be, though. Um, but, you know, I see that here with the Lover's card. It could be that, like, you know, this could be an energy Aquarius of like in the past friends and family got together and said listen this person is a better choice go over here do you understand what I'm saying and someone tried to pull you away or pull your person away to go pursue a third party it's kind of what I'm picking up here a little bit because we've got the page of pentacles here which are friends family members you know what I'm saying uh, I'm kind of feeling here because uh, you know, it could even be a child or, you know, a son here that said, listen, withdraw from this person and go over here. I like this person better. Right. So there may have been an energy of this. Uh, uh, Aquarius okay and I feel like someone is going back down memory, le memory lane thinking about how much they hurt someone and how much they didn't really want something to end okay tell me about the page of swords and the four of swords I feel like someone here is looking at the real picture and thinking to themselves you know what I have not been happy since I walked away from this person tell me about the sun card tell me about the sun card tell me about the sun card yeah, we've got justice in the reverse. I feel like someone is coming to the awareness that someone was treated very unfairly and that they are due justice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Tell me about the justice card in the reverse. We've got the seven of wands. Yeah, I feel like someone is coming to the realization that pushing a person away is just really unfair. Pushing this person away is unfair because Aquarius, you were happy with this person. That person was your happiness and your wish fulfillment and they got treated unfairly fairly and someone's realizing that how wrong it was to hurt someone at that level tell me about hierophant please we've got king of cups in the reverse okay so the king of cups and his divine masculine in the upright is someone who has control over their emotions this is someone very distant you wouldn't even know this person cares about you really even though they have a tremendous amount of love this is coming in the reverse so this could be someone who's drinking their feelings away or it could be someone that's about to have an outpour of emotion or someone here one night might get very drunk and you may get that drunken phone call of you know what i miss you and i want this to come back around okay tell me more about this king of cups in the reverse yeah see eight of cups in the reverse someone is coming back they walked away but now they're coming back okay tell me 
Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. So we've got the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. Someone here is trying to manifest their ex back into their life. King of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Um, I feel like... I feel like this is going to require someone to break promises to get what you want here, Aquarius. It's going to require someone to break their promises. There's going to, yeah, see the lover's card and the death card, okay? It's going to require someone to break the promise to whoever they went towards because we've got the lover's card here and we've got the lover's card here. And now you guys can see, do you see that snake that was tempting them away? So I feel like the the this whole situation wh whoever the snake was that was let in that's going to be cut off aquarius okay yeah yeah because someone here has too much love they've got too much emotion with the ten of wands and the queen of cups too much love too much emotion and it can no longer be denied or uh pushed away you know Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Clarity guidance for my Aquarians. Clarity guidance for my Aquarians. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance healing family issues so your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so Aquarius it could have been parents here that were directing you towards someone different that is possible too I feel very strongly that family got involved here so what I'm seeing here is Aquarius is that you're starting to see the red flags in the situation in your current situation that you're currently in and I feel like there's this 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 sense of hope that you can go back and fix what was done okay um, I feel Feel like healing here is going to happen um you're going to be forgiving the people that took this away from you and you know i feel like the situation between you and this ex is also going to heal okay is what it is all right guys i love you and take care bye